Hello everyone, this is David June 101. If you are not yet subscriber to my channel, please click subscribe and click the notification bell so that you will be notified for our, our next video. This video is to comply a challenge made by Michael Bison, who is currently in the US, through Mr. Kim Kimba, who directly challenged me last two days ago. Before I will answer why I and my family are observing Sabbath, I would like to challenge my two friends and also encourage them to post a video and challenge their friends too. First, he is an assistant professor three at South Philippine Adventist College, Mr. Arwin Bugayong Raniola, to share a video with his 1,569 FB friends why he and his family observe Sabbath. The second one is he is working at LJO Mungkayo or the local government unit of Mungkayo, a church leader, Mr. Arthur Anu, to share his video to his 2,144 friends in Facebook, the reasons why he and his family observe Sabbath. I know guys, you are ready about this one. Now, I will share to you three reasons why I and my family are observing Sabbath. Number one, Sabbath is commanded by God. If you read your Bible, if you open your Bible in Exodus 20 verse 8, start from num uh, verse 8, it says that remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. Six days you shall labor and do all your work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord your God. On it you shall not do any work, neither you your, nor your son and daughter, nor your male and female servant, nor your animals, nor any foreigner residing in your town. 11. For in six days the Lord made the heavens and the earth, and the sea, and all is in them. But he rested on the seventh day. Therefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day, and made it holy. You know, brothers and sisters, guys, you know that behind the English word rest is a very interesting Greek word. The Greek word is sabbatismus. This word literally means keeping of Sabbath. Meaning to say that Sabbath is a commanded, is a com commandment made by God. And you know in our history that it is written by the finger of our God in Mount Sinai. Now, number two, this is a sign of God's people. Again, number two, sign of God's people. In Exodus 31 verse 13, the Bible says that, Say to the Israelites, you must observe my Sabbath. This will be the sign between me and you, that's us, for the generation to come, so you may know that I am the Lord who makes you holy. So here we see that the Sabbath is a perpetual covenant. It means that it is going to continue forever, reflecting the ongoing existence of Sabbath even after Christ returned on this earth. Remember, reason number two, that is the sign of God's people. Number three, this is a blessing for my family. The Sabbath, according to Mark 2 verse 27, the, the Sabbath was made for man and not man for the Sabbath. God created it for our benefit. It is a gift and a blessing from our Creator. If this is a blessing and this is a gift, 
we need to enjoy this blessing. The Sabbath blessing God intended gives families meaningful time together. You, you notice, brothers and sisters, guys, during the Sabbath, we can go to worship and praise our God with our family. It is, it is also bring with a vital lesson that can have eternal benefits to every member of the family. Everyone listening with me now, I encourage you to observe Sabbath because first, this is commanded by God. Second, this is the sign of God's people. And third, this is a blessing for my family and yours your family too. Thank you very much for watching. This is David June 101. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Click the link down below and click the bell button so you will be notified for our new videos in our channel. God bless everyone.